How's it everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Azo CG319X reference monitor. And just to get started, I just want to let you guys know I'm a DP and I'm not a professional colorist. So this isn't the thing I'm most experienced with. But what I have found is that learning more about color grading and about what can be done to an image makes you a better DP because you're able to actually understand what can be done with an image so you can do more stuff in camera and then know what it is you can do later on to get the best results with your images. So just to let you guys know, this is not a sponsored post. I don't get to keep this monitor. We've been sent it to grade the film with, and once we're done, I'm gonna send it right back to Azo. So I'm gonna introduce you to the amazing Azo CG319X reference monitor. So the features that the CG319X has, 4K, HDR, 31 inch, it has a self calibrating device, can produce true black, it's able to have 24 bit LUTs, it's a 10 bit panel, it has luminance warning, safe area markers, aspect ratio markers, 4K zoom function, multiple inputs, non glare panel, lighting shield hood, built in carry handle. The CG319X is a true 4K resolution. So even though I'm using it for color grading, it's also perfect for things like referencing 2D and 3D CGI, visual effects compositing, and there's nearly a 180 degree viewing angle. So if you're a working professional in the film industry, all of these things are what you pay good money for in a reference monitor, because you can trust that whatever look you're creating will be accurately reflected in the film or show that is being aired. So there are a lot of technical details about this monitor that often go over people's heads. I know they go over mine. There's a lot of things that I don't fully understand about how this monitor works and why it's so good. But what I can tell you is that this monitor is good. It is showing you exactly what it's meant to. You're seeing your images the way you're meant to see them. We did some tests where I graded some of the footage from the film on the monitor took it to the cinema where we were doing some of the final mixes and I could see the stuff that I had graded looked exactly the way I remember it on the ASO. And this is something that's really important, regardless of if you're gonna be broadcasting your content on YouTube or TV or in a cinema, you wanna make sure that what you see is really, really close to what the people on the other end of the screen are seeing. You don't wanna create something and then when they see it, it looks nothing like what you wanted them to see. And this often happens on screens like the iMac, which are uncalibrated. And even when they are, they're just not as accurate as the ASO CG319X or other reference monitors out there. So what you end up doing is grading your images to a very far side of the spectrum. What reference monitors and color accurate monitors do is they bring your images closer to the center and all displays have characteristics that change the image slightly, whether it's a green shift or a red shift or too much saturation or too much contrast. But when you have an image that's graded on an uncalibrated monitor that's just not that accurate, when you do see it on those other monitors, the image is pushed so far to one side that it's just nothing like what it was when you saw it. So what the reference monitor does is it brings it very, very close to the center of what the image is meant to look like. So when you see those little faults that your average TV or average computer has, it doesn't change your image that much. It might have a little bit of contrast or a little bit of red or a little bit of green, but it's not gonna change your image so much that you don't recognize it from when you saw it on your reference monitor. And all this is so that your audience can see the images the way that you wanted them to see them not a completely different version of what you were hoping they would see. Remember, this is an epidemic. This is now. This is in front of you now. There's no textbooks that you can go back to. Whether we like it or not, there is a war going on. If we don't do what we're doing now, in one year there will be no rhinos here. If we cannot save the rhino, we can't save anything. How many rhino have you killed? About 12, 13, 14. You don't even keep count? I don't even keep count, I just count money. <laughs> 
When I first looked at the size, I was a bit worried about how it would fit on my relatively narrow desk, as it had quite a large base, but it fits just fine even with my Blackmagic mini panel in front of it. As many of you know, my feature documentary The Last Horns of Africa is a low budget indie film, so as much as I would love to be in a professional color grading room with a comfortable couch and a 70 inch TV to review the film, it just wasn't possible. This is where I came to really enjoy the large screen of the CG319X because I was able to sit back in my chair and review my color grading from a distance. Once again I want to reiterate that I am in no way a professional colorist, but the quality and peace of mind you get from a professional reference monitor is worth its weight in gold. The self calibration tool is easily accessed through ASO's free color navigator software and was pretty straightforward and simple to use. There is also the added benefit that you can set up a calibration timer so your screen can be ready and waiting to go before you even make your morning coffee. The difference between a monitor like the iMac Pro and the CG319X is that the iMac Pro only shows the correct image when it's on full brightness. But when you dim down the screen to match the brightness of the reference monitor, extreme banning occurs between shadows and highlights and the image starts to break down. I paired the ASO CG319X with the Blackmagic Mini panel, which was a great match. It made the whole process way more streamlined and more efficient than it would have been with a keyboard and mouse. I don't think I'm going to be able to go back to a regular monitor that isn't calibrated or doesn't have the quality control that a monitor like the ASO CG319X has. And I've just gotten so used to having such a great image in front of me. And no matter where I watch it, whether it's on the TV, on the laptop, it looks really, really close to what I saw in the ASO. And when I grade on an iMac or any other monitor that's just not as good, it never comes close to what I want to see. So this monitor is going to be my next purchase to improve my workflow, to make sure that what I deliver looks the way I want it to look. So thanks guys for watching. See you next time.